What's up guys? Welcome back. My name's JC. And, um, you know, I've been talking about a lot of bad stuff this whole week. So today I actually wanted to take a cartel moment, but make it into a positive one. I don't know if you guys will see it like that, but let's get into this. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federale got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six time failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong from wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong What's up? JC, welcome back If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe Hit that bell so you don't miss nothing If you are part of my family What's up Rasa, welcome back Subase la Suburban, we're about to get into this ride. There is a sicario that used to work for the Jalisco Cartel Nueva Generacion. And I guess he started to figure out that everything that was happening was not good. And he actually switched sides. And he's opposing the Jalisco Nueva Generacion. Now he's currently serving with a self-defense um force that has taken pretty much the law into their own hands <clears throat> they're pretty much combating you know corruption with politicians and, and organized crime and um he said that the cartel members prey on society like vampires so you know he uh started as a sicario at a very young age and now he's he's you know fighting against them and this is what i mean this is actually starting to happen more and more and more in Mexico just because of the violence and everything that's happened. Over the last few years, you know, the violence has reached like historic levels of people getting killed. Uh, you, I mean, you name it, it's been really, really bad. So these auto defense uh, units have been coming uh, common in Mexico. They've been, you know, raising up. And, and this is what happens when a town is in fear of death and living under the constant fear of like injury or, you know, getting killed. You know, the only option, it, whether it, it was joining the groups or opposing them. And people get tired. People get tired after a while and, you know, start standing up and taking matters into their own hands, you know, as vigilantes because the law's not doing nothing. Uh, this guy's name is uh, Cap Capache. He's a young guy. Um, having undergone riches like uh, training, like military training when he was recruited by the Jalisco Cartel Nueva Generacion, he now uses that military training and dark arts of assassination to strike back against the narcos. And when I say dark art, it's because the simple form is that they actually teach you, you know, what it is to uh, fight like in a military manner. Um, just like, you know, how ISIS, you know, brings in people and they have their... They don't just give you a gun and pretty much tell you to go. No, they actually train you to use high power assault rifles, grenade, grenade launchers, um, all that stuff. And these guys are getting training from big time military people. He says he works as a cleaner and he's been working in Chil, let me see if I can say it right, Chil Pancingo. You know, take uh, uh, taking taking matters into his own hands and killing members of the cartel who who you know, his words say he says they prey on society. Pretty much in his own words, he he states, "I am defending the people who can't, and I am fighting back 
the police that don't do anything for for them. If I, not me, then who? You know, and and I'm gonna make another video about how these cartels are actually taking a lot of young kids and taking them into training like this because um, this is a very very it's a, it's a touchy subject the because of everything these kids become desensitized. Did I say that right? Yeah. I think I said that right. You know me, I can't talk. <laughs> and it's not getting any better. Um, I said that this video was gonna be positive because the way that I look at the it, way that I look at it is that if this starts to happen more and more, we're actually members that are uh, involved with that start turning the page around and actually helping the people they could be able to they they stand a fighting chance because this is this is the thing is that it's just like that, that that old gang member that did a long stretch of time and comes back to the neighborhood and starts preaching to the youngsters about changing their lives it's the same thing the only difference in, in mexico is because of the cartel and and the how the violence and what they're doing um they need a special kind of you know wolf to go in and, and fight with the wolves because you have to be at the same level it's just how you know they hire one criminal to catch another one you know and, and that's the thing is that you have to be on that same level in order to be able to compete with these guys um the only the only thing that i see that is it's pretty hard is to compete with the amount of money and you know what money brings to the table and that's buying anything that they need whether it's you know uh those armored cars that they have now, those Calibre 50, you know, machine guns. Um, I mean, they have submarines. I mean, come on. When you have a billion dollar industry, you can pretty much buy anything. So how are you supposed to com com you know, compete with that when there is no other way to finance your group you know, with a billion dollar company? It's pretty hard, but the good thing is that it's starting to happen. These guys are changing sides and they're actually starting to protect people because sometimes enough is enough. You know, the amount of violence and, and the killings is, is crazy. And this is what used to happen in South America and in Cali and uh, Bogota and all those places when all the cocaine was uh, being sold and they were making all these billions and billions of dollars, you know. Um, Greed, money, evil, power, all that is, is one big blanket of shit. That's what it is. And it is at the point right now where it is getting so bad in Mexico that people don't even, don't even want to go over there to vacation or, or, or see their families. Um, I heard that in my town in Guanajuato, it's like really, really bad. And... You know, I wanted to go back and visit, but now that I hear how bad it is, I, I don't want to go back. I don't even want to risk it because this is just, it's pointless. And, you know, it's sad to see, just like I've just made that video about saying how, you know, my, my home city is so broken because of all the gang violence and all the shootings and all of that. You know, the same thing goes for my hometown in Mexico, in Guanajuato, Moroleon. Like, it is so, it, it's so invaded with so much greed, power, and all that stuff that you can't even go and visit. But hopefully these guys will make a difference. Hopefully these guys will create a little bit of impact. People don't realize that all it takes is one person to actually try and change the world. It sounds big, but it's because you're looking at, you're looking at it too far ahead. If one person changes that person and that person changes another one and it keeps going and going and going that's why that that special saying comes from pay it forward then you create a ripple effect where it could help a lot of people this is the reason why i share my information this is the reason why i make my videos this is the reason why i do what i do because i promised myself that i was going to pull somebody out of the trenches because i it never happened to me I was a smart kid, but I had all the wrong teachers. They were teaching me how to sell drugs. They were teaching me how to run drugs. They were teaching me how to hurt people. They were teaching me how to get away with shootings. And I had all the wrong teachers. So, you know, there's got to be more of us 
that care about this younger generation and we could, you know, pull them out and, and, and show them what's right. Don't judge nobody because you don't know why he's there in the first place. Never judge nobody. You don't know what that kid went through. You don't know what he's going through. You know, one thing that I learned uh, as me being a kid, I was very, very lost because I was very depressed. I was very, I didn't know what love was. I didn't know what a family was. So all those things kicked in and I was like the perfect person, candidate for a gang. Because that's what they wanted, you know? And all it is, is a family that as long as you're doing dirt with them, they're your family. But when you're not doing dirt with them, they're not your family no more. So don't lie to yourself. If you could help somebody, help them. And like I said, don't ever judge nobody. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, you only have one life to live. But if you live it right, one life is all you need. My name's JC. And I am Wrong the Strong. And it's about time we fucking make a difference. Alright, I'll catch you guys on the next one.